My name is Shannon Crossan and welcome back to another episode of The Shanling Station. It's been a few weeks since I did this because I keep on forgetting what day it is. And then when I go, oh, I'll make a podcast. And then um, it's, uh, you know, and I can't do it. So, because <laughs> I want to make sure that it's every Saturday. But anyways, today's topic is Rags to Riches, Animal Crossing New Horizons, um, Rags to Riches, not The Sims. It's easy to be confused. Sims Rags to Riches are, is kind of different. It's kind of the same at the same time, just with different games. And also with the um, Rags to Riches in um, Animal Crossing, there's a lot more rules like to be different kind of characteristics so i think you can you can be a fugitive a farmer a forager and a fashionista i think those are the four that you can be um i personally um after i do my island that i'm doing now my beach resort island i would like to do regs to riches and do a city core island and the characteristic slash path that i'm going to be Doing will be fugitive as I really like time traveling and I know I have to spend 99 bells or 99,000 bells if red shows up but I feel like if I'm time traveling I'm gonna get quite a lot of money so I'll do that one but anyways on Nintendo Talks um who made it pa Patrick made it he also made the hard mode challenge which i did um also i'm not going to make it so hard on myself when it comes to the rules if i get to a certain point and i get quite bored of the challenge then i'm just going to make a city core island and that's all but i just want to start the challenge and if i can't finish it then i can't finish it but I'm not really going to put a lot of pressure on myself to finish it. But anyways, let's go on to Nintendalk's Twitter. Or X, but I'm still calling it Twitter. <laughs> Anyone else calling it Twitter, even though it's not called that anymore? Uh, da -da 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 -da, that's the one. Okay, Rex to Riches, I'll just tell you the rules. If you're interested in it and also if you are interested there's a more in-depth video on Nintendo Talks channel which will be in the description so if you do want to check it out um, then I don't think it has as many rules as hard mode which I appreciate hard mode was very hard you know hard mode was very difficult but anyways <laughs> so Rex to Riches and then it has starting rules. You must start a new island for the challenge, which is why I'm waiting until after I've um, done my beach resort island. You can have to walk up to one re-roll on island layout. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't re-roll, so it'll just be the first one that I do. I never re-roll. Um, starting villagers must pick their first home, so their home spot. Which I understand because that's what happened in hard mode. You must pick a starting class. It's a class, okay. Which is forager, or forager, um, farmer, fashionista, or fugitive. And this is C image A. I'll show you. Well, I won't show you. I'll tell you. Um, island name must start with the letter associated with your class. Must put rags, ACH rags to riches on bulletin board. All penalty fees, TT, like time travel, turn it freeze, etc. Will be paid by putting your bells into a trash can item. <laughs> Daily rules. You are able to time travel as much as you like. Each day you time travel will cost you 10k bells. So if you're a fugitive, you don't have to do that, which is, I like that. <laughs> you can only time travel one day at a time. You must complete all daily two times Nookmile goals. Um, you must complete daily NPC quests. 
such as Gulliver, Wisp, etc. All new bugs, fish, sea creatures, fossils, arts must be donated before selling. Um, choose your class. There's farmer. There's fugit uh, fugitive. There's fashionista and there's forager. Uh, villager rules. Starting villagers grant you a 5k bell discount each time you um, time travel. Having both starting villagers on your island will allow free time traveling. Cannot complete challenge if both village starter villagers are living on your island. All villagers will, with Fort Bubbles must be talked to. Villagers that are asked to leave must go. Campsite villagers must be invited to live on your island. The maximum number of tickets you can use for hunts is five. If you get to the fifth ticket, you must take the villager or autofill. You may go to one mystery island per day except on hunts. No amiibos allowed. Uh, and a comedy rules. Every Sunday you must pay 60 50 uh, k bells worth of turnips may be skipped for the first two weeks um turnips can only be sold on your island so not on anyone else's everything must be sold is to the nooks deposit box include excluding turnips fish and bugs can be sold to cj slash flick if they are visiting it says can be sold, so that's good. Because before it was must be sold. So it's good to have the options. Weekend markets you can buy and sell to other Rex to Riches players. 16 people max per weekend. Cannot sell fossils or turnips at markets. Fish slash bug off when competing with other um, rags to riches players each player must drop 3k bells before each round winner of each round gets all of the bells that are dropped you must play, pay 2k bell fees um, to island owner when arriving so kind of like you had to um, for hard mode as well no treasure island and no happy home paradise which will be weird because you can't use happy home paradise that was not a rule in um hard mode you could definitely use it that's weird do they have one for each eye uh, there you go they got the other ones end game objectives so this is kind of like the end game but if i don't get to it then i don't get to it it's not really too bad purchase run royal crown or two for fugitives and fashionistas. Obtain a five-star island. Complete one part of Critopedia. See roll for which run. Two parts for forager. Ten million bells in ABD. Twenty million if in your ABD for fugitives are uh, and farmers. Fully upgraded houses and upgraded in halves island that's going to be difficult um have two top 10 villagers living on your island animal crossing portal three top 10 villagers for fashionistas have at least three gold tools earn one gold bug off trophy and one um gold fishing tawny trophy Craft five times um, gold series DIY, one pile of cash DIY, one cash like money floor and DIY can only be craft on a forager island. So you're going to have to go to a forager's island in order to craft it. 25 posts on your community board um, from other racks to riches players. 35 if you are a fashionista so, the farm, so this is the different um, classes farmer abilities only 
achieved when wearing farmer's overalls. Ireland name must start with F. Max 60 crops and 10 sister fruit. Trees for selling. Crops must be in bunches of free to harvest. Must collect fish. Critopedia. Can sell crops, fruit, bugs directly to nooks, crannies. Does not have to buy um, turnips on Sundays. If leaf appears on your island, you must pay a 20k fee. This is Fashionistas. Um, abilities only uh, activated when wearing the chic um, tuxedo dress or the tuxedo dra jacket. Island name must start with the letter S. Can sell clothes, flowers and tree items directly to Nook's Cranny. Complete art critopedia. 3k island entry fee instead of 2k. Only island that can sell crowns for objective 1. If a um, label appears on your island, you must pay 2k fee. Forager. Abilities only activated when um, wearing the do-rag. Island name must start with an R. Um, Cattle, fish, forageables, fossils, tree items directly to Nook's Cranny. Must complete the fossil and sea creature critopedia. Um, can deny campsite villages only island that can craft items for objective nine. So that was the like the cash pile and stuff like that. Um, if Sahara appears on your island, you must pay 20k fee. So this is the one I want to do, which is fugitive. Abilities only activated when wearing the superhero mask or the bagged hood. I think I might go for the superhero mask. <laughs> Island's name must start with G. Can only can visit two island nook mile tickets. Islands per day. Must complete bug critopedia. Does not have to pay island admission fees. Does not have to pay time travel, can only time travel one day at a time. Oh. If red appears on your island, you must pay a 99k fee. So you can't skip. You can time travel as many days as you want, but you can only time travel one day at a time. So I'm guessing you can't skip days, or can you? I might have to watch a few playthroughs of um, Fugitive Roll because I don't know whether you can. So you say if I wanted to skip, uh, you know, certain days like Sundays so I don't have to do that. You know, I don't know. So anyways, uh, that's the Rex to Riches challenge. Also, there's the Discord, which I will put in the description. For the um, for Nintendo Talks Discord, so that you can go and find people to go and visit during the Saturday. I think it's weekends, isn't it? It's the weekends that you're allowed to visit, not just Sundays. Every Sunday, you must. Is it weekend market? I think it might be. Yeah, I think it's a weekend market. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted this um, podcast to be for. I just wanted to share my thoughts and ideas. Um, one of my thoughts about this challenge is it's very good. It's a lot less complicated, kind of, <laughs> than the um, hard mode challenge. But you know what? It kind of just puts people more at ease and more able to play Animal Crossing. I mean, loads of people have stopped playing after hard mode and it's quite difficult to see because it's a really good game to play as long as you've got ideas to do to play it so you know Nintendo talks coming out with all of these amazing like challenges and then as soon as the challenge kind of becomes less popular he's thinking of another one to play 
So anyways, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I will see you next Saturday with another one. And hopefully you'll have an amazing week. Bye, Shellings. Bye.